I've just picked up this. This is the US 20 Krieger tail bag in preparation for a trip next week to Wales for the Mac One Festival. I previously have used these. These are you know, your old classic style Oxford Sport luggage bags. Um, they're fine, like there's nothing wrong with them, but they're not waterproof. There's a like um in the in this little side pack here there is a basically just like a rain mac that goes over the top of them. So you have to kind of get off and then you've got to cover the bags up but of course it's not like a perfect seal so you still have to have all your stuff inside in carrier bags just in case. Um, that's what they look like without it extended that gives you about another inch and a half maybe. It's a good sort of, it's another litre all the way round I would say. Um, I went to Belgium a few years back on those. Um, but back to the case in hand, I'm trying to decide what to do with this. So uh, basically in here there is a load of hook straps which go on to, are meant to go to these loops and these web loops you're meant to connect to the subframe which I guess you could totally do um, if you didn't have a sports bike where the subframe is inaccessible um, and I'm not sure really there's no sort of like there's nothing really to get into what instead you have is on the back of the pillion seat these are the hooks that you're traditionally supposed to attach stuff to um, which of course means that you've only got two two attachments and we want four so I'm gonna have a bit of a think about this it may well be a case of that I'm gonna actually try and take the cowling off and see yeah I don't think I just don't think there's anywhere really that we can sort of snick in around so I think it might actually be a case of having to do a bit of a hack which is not a great hack but you can basically shorten these off and then um, just lay them like underneath the seat or you know on the back of the seat resit it and then hook onto there but I'm gonna give it a go Quite simply because uh, you can once you take this cowling part off, obviously you've got the electrics running in here, but it's it's really tight. There's there's no way of actually looping it through because the tray where the um, emergency pack fits and all of that uh, it goes all the way up onto the edges here, so you can't really get into it. But this is it. So this is fitted, as it were. <coughs> um, Basically, this is how it sort of works. So you've got these metal clips here. That these are the loops that have come through. I'll take it off in a sec just to show you sort of what's going on with that. Um, they are they go onto these clips up here, and uh, then you have these metal buckles here for tidying up all of this stuff because you don't want all of that flapping around and I'm guessing these are then the loops that you would use if you then had a, another one of these bags or a, or a 10 or whatever so this is kind of like their modular system which is kind of nice uh, and I've just sort of put a load of random stuff in here that was kicking around in the garage uh, just to sort of get an idea of it not the ideal way of doing this but the alternative is to actually um, cut these and quite frankly I've just spent £75 on a bag I think it's a bit shit if you've got to hack it straight away um, that just kind of winds me up so um, as you can see here's the loops it's pretty, pretty straightforward so you've got what I've done is if I just pop the bonnet boop, boop take the seat off you'll see that it's actually I've just extended the straps so where uh, these are four separate straps the idea is that you're meant to sort of loop them around the frame and lock them off uh, I've just extended it to make one strap where 
I've looped it round. Uh, and now I know that I'm that that's going to kind of work. I can sort of fine tune that to get that so that those loops are nice and tight underneath, They're exactly where I want them to be. And um, and then I'll just use some rubber bands to tidy up the excess. Because the thing is, is if you hack this, if you if you chop this off, if you go and get a bike where you can actually get the subframe on it, then you've just you've just ruined your ability to be able to use them the way that they're intended. So I'd much rather the um, you know tidy up all of this excess rather than um, than fuck it up basically. But this is what I'm, I mean. I don't. You're not really going to be able to see anything in here. But this is all completely sealed. So there's definitely no way that you could run this run anything through that's obviously the the tray is open all the way down to the battery all of this extra gubbins that I've got in here is this is what is that oh that's the tail tidy so that's um, the, the little LED light in the top of the tail tidy uh, that's why that's popping up here obviously your emergency bag I'm really sorry I'm using my my phone for this and it's just continually auto focusing it's really fucking stupid but yeah that's the main challenge is that there are actually no holes in the tray also notice this what the fuck what is the point of that let me see if I can focus on that oh no that's even worse there's there's just like a random random clip hole that's almost like what you would expect to see if you had a little post in your car for holding the bonnet up that's totally random I don't know why that's there um, anyway that is the uh, this the slightly simpler solution for fitting a Krieger US 20 tail pack to a uh, Supersport